when deciding to put together like what you're gonna put into the arcade because obviously like you said you're not doing you didn't do modern games was there uh, was it just a matter of just finding, starting with like classics? Was there things that you said, no, I don't think I want to put this game in here either because you thought it won't be popular enough? Or was it really anything that you could get your hands on? I tried to re, uh, I tried to replicate my experience. I bought in probably the first 20 games I got were my first 20 games that I got into and played. Like when I was a kid, I played Phoenix. I played Pole Position, I played Space Invaders, I played Monaco GP, I played games like that, and I punch out, and I went out and Donkey Kong, I went out and just got all those games that were selfish, games I was good at, games I enjoyed. And then after we became a business, then I started listening to the customers. Hey, you don't have, you don't have a Neo Geo in here, you need a Neo Geo, or you don't have, say, a street fighter uh uh champion edition instead of street fighter blah 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 because the the fighting games wasn't really my uh my experience was as a kid but i enjoyed street fighter mortal kombat but after that i didn't really get into the fighting games as much so then i had the customers sort of help me out and say oh no you got to get tekken you got to get killer instinct and then slowly i got into that as well after i started to learn it a little bit more so that anything that was a little bit newer than Mortal Kombat, I learned during my experience of running the arcade. Everything prior to that, I knew I was an expert already. I've been collecting these games since I was 19. Hey guys, listen. You like the games? You like the interviews? You like the shows? How about you click on that subscribe button and also give us a like? We really need your help here, huh?